now doesn't explain, and until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. So what is it that Hero did that doesn't make sense? What he would have to do after writing the message, it doesn't make sense. I got it. That's true. Everything I'm bad with these names, said. man. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Oh, well, uh... I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then, he's not lying? Yeah, kid. Assuming he's telling the truth, it's one of the someone repetitive else parts of the must game. have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. I got it! It had to be Toko, right? What? Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Okay, I'll yell it next time. Wait! But more important! That doesn't even matter! We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it! That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who asked you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bottle. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so... What do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. We haven't reached the end of the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer. And I have to prove that. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. Uh, we have to get to the points, uh, Kidween. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. Obvious? Hero really is the killer! Yeah, so contribute points and my cosplay thing will happen. Hero hits the uh, Sakura, that's for sure, but that doesn't end there. Oh, there's something that proves that. That wound's on her head. The wound's on her head. I didn't yeah. want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby, and I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. No, that's wrong. It's not voting, it's contributing points. If Sakura died from Hero's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Huh? Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, <laughs> both attacks must have come from a Monokuma I got body. it! Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? 
It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle yeah, on the ground, is so not good along for, like, with the chess the piece average it had inside. Viewer. That was the bottle Hero hit soccer. I with, often right? watch Zeke and Katie on their on the weekends on my TV, and then use the phone as just uh, typing. For now, yeah, it really just does. note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should be Six complete. different chess pieces. Okay, so the correlation between the Monokuma bottles, feel, I feel like it's starting to become clear. The, the connect, that connection must be, it's the object that Monokuma figure, that the Monokuma figure in, inside each bottle is holding. What the, oh. We need, yeah, we need a C. We need an E. We need another S. Tired. P. Oh, no, wrong one. Oh, crap. Now I understand. That's it. The chess pieces. I'm not fucking anything up. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure I'm a good holding boy. a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knife, if I remember. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. Oh no, I fixed it, pug. On Friday. And on the ground was so the So I'm playing a 2D, D from a 2D game from 2010 on a $2,000 graphics card. And on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is I was No, I was just showing how big it was. That was a size thing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is... See you, kid. Have a good one, case. buddy. I'll see you hopefully harassing uh, Dr. Claw tomorrow. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Wait. Then the bottle that went, uh, that was missing. I got it. I got the it. The bottle must have been broken. What makes you so sure? Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? It wasn't a single broken bottle. And the evidence that proves that is, is the scale. Kyoko and I figured it out before. We just started the trial at the beginning of the uh, stream. Where's the weighing it? Oh. I got it! I got it! Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We got two more chapters. 
after this, which means approximately four more days. He compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. I'm sorry, Pug. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. I got and it! the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. <laughs> so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But I really like this cr these crime the scenes, like these the court bottles, cases. Along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces, which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. Hey, why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? I won't because let of Reese murder me, but about the case. there could be no doubt that the second missing Matakuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by... I got it! I got it! The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. But he thinks you're uh, Reese Akuma, remember? The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but but there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Hero. Plus, I just remember Hero! Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. Astral's Pog! And you just now decided to share that with Why? us? Why? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? Did you order the rest of your Fibble Fit, the Lost deck? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. What? <laughs> Oh, you want me to do it now? Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous. Well, someone go get Pug Ugly because he's going to want to see this. Pug, are you still here? And again, this T-Rex costume is a very limited time thing. I don't do it for very long because I can't really stream like it. No, they want me to wear the suit. They paid. And if I do this, you all have to take Twitch clips of it. Here. Okay. We're here. Oh, that was weird. Are you not entertained, chat? Are you not entertained? Do we have a verdict? Do we want to keep the green screen down for the rest of the stream, or do we want to keep it up? Are you lurking to get pizza, Dr. Claw? I think that's what that is. But it's not hard. Okay. You see the difference in my hair? Yeah, it sits on the floor and I just pull it up by her bot. 
You see the difference in my hair, though? My hair is that color. And the green screen makes it that color. Yeah, my hair is way lighter than it seems most of the time. Oh. Well, guys, that is the second time I've done that on screen. Now, the question is, now this is for all you in chat because most of my extreme regulars, is 50,000 a fair amount for the dinosaur costume or do I need to make it less? Or do I need to make it more? Is 50,000 fair? I don't know. That's kind of up to you guys. It's kind of what it was like I made it 20,000. <laughs> No, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that showed Toko was hiding in the record. And I have it. She left it, it there for anyone to find. Okay, cool. Dr. Claw, I love your face, buddy. So far, you've probably been pressing the Y button during the final strike without a second thought. But from now on, you're going to have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Now you'll have to choose the proper truth bolt to, to s use during your Coupe de Grasse. You'll select it the, uh, the same way as during the nonstop debate. Simply press the LB button. Also, like the debate, if your logic is different, it, your logic difficult. Okay, I don't care about that. Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Holy shit, how am I halfway through? Well then, good luck and have fun. Halfway? It's a lie. I admit nothing. I hate you. I curse you. No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing. I curse you. I curse you. It's a lie! Should prove it. Man. Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the walker? They must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. And I wanted to sweep these special biobot. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Okay then. Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? Yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura! No, I swear, there's no way! <sighs> Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk. Now. After I read S Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go, but I was too scared to face her head on. Oh, you know what? I, I'm actually thinking now. Sakura killed herself. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. So the, the two people hit her in the head, but she killed herself with that poison. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Okay, I'm going to need to see clips when you guys well, get them. That's awkward. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did... You put it back, upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. 
And when I just turned around... There was Sakura, covered in blood, and staring right at me! When I saw that blood, I fainted, right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Her, you mean... <laughs> Get it back! It was your fault after all! My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... you're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! <laughs> Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem. Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on. That's, you know. But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre. So that's good. So that's good. Keep talking like that and Hina's gonna... Well then, that's that. Let's start the boat. Huh? I thought for sure you'd have some words or hero on that. See, it's What's Hina. Wrong? It's Hina. Come on, everyone. We're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. It's Hina. No, not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's. But that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even and who this locked the door? idiot should understand what I'm talking about. You wish is my command, darling. It's not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is... when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shell! She didn't die in front of the shell, yeah. So the second shot from Toko is what killed Sakura. Then the problem is, where did, where did Sakura die? It was... And all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shelf! No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong! We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think yeah, the same way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was actually Sakura, or not Sakura, she killed herself. That has to be it. 
The evidence that proves there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf. I got it! I got it! Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stain by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. I love you, motherfuckers. Then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? But, but Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room. She killed still herself. has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Ooh. No. So she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. 